Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to my homestead and to my garden. Well, guys, I've been out here working with the high arch wheel hoe from um, Hoss Tools. It's a new experience for me. I probably kind of butchered it a little bit as far as knowing how to, you know, handle it and how to do it. But you know what? Um, sometimes you just kind of got to try new things and just get used to it, get familiar with it, and just learn it. And that's what I'm going to do. So I did make a row with uh, the high arch wheel hoe, and I did do the old-fashioned way like my grandmother used to do and taking a hoe and just making your rows. So, so uh, this right here is the old-fashioned way, the hoe. Okay. My granddad used to take the mule and plow up the ground, and then grandma would take that hoe, and she would make the rows and put the seed into it. So, that's how I did this row right here. I just uh, plowed up the ground with the hoe, and I made my row. Now, I did not use a tractor into this plot right here. Um, I actually used the uh, little tiller over there. And I just washed them off. So, and that high arch wheel hoe. And that's all I used. So here is that bed. I did it by hand like my grandmother did. Just went in there and took the hoe and made my rows. This one right here, I used the high arch wheel hoe from Haas Tools. Because what if you cannot get any gas? You want to plant a garden. Uh, you want to, you know... You, you trying to continue on into your garden what would you do so this row right here was also made with a high arch wheel hoe now um because my ground is is uh, kind of it uh got its little low spots uh what i did also was just take the hoe and since the high arch wheel hoe plowed it and i might have been doing it wrong y'all but um yeah, like i said i'm learning it and so i just it all right it plowed it up the dirt on the side and I just took and took my little hoe on this row this end row right here and uh pushed it pull the dirt up onto the hoe I've planted so I got three rows of peas going on here now I don't know how they're going to do in this garden because I've never planted peas in this garden so I have no clue this is a new experience but I did play uh plant the sugar prime peas so um yeah so here they are so I, I did uh, plant those, and I plant three rows, and I debated whether I wanted to put another row. So because I got some potatoes, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently this year. Um, and this was a hard decision for me because I live on the East Coast, and uh, we can plant probably a little bit earlier than some. But so I had a, it was a hard decision whether to just go ahead and um Plant the garden peas, which I would love to make another row. I don't know if I will or not, but I also um, want to plant potatoes. So I've got the potatoes in there cut up, got them cut with their eyes, and uh, got them cut up so they can go ahead and start curing the, where they've been cut at, and I'll be ready to put them into the ground. So I have a vision of this garden here. This is my, my dream garden for this summer, and um, I have a vision of potatoes and garden peas and guys the daggone chickens got a hold of my onions so they're pitiful so right down here you can't even see them if i can find them so there's one coming up right there the chickens nipped them to the ground so i kind of took the hoe and kind of went around it a little bit now, they didn't get these down here there's one down there. They didn't get these right here. I was out here messing around in the garden, and I think these chickens don't think they're, I think they think they're human. So anyways, they're right behind me. While I'm digging, they, they digging too. So they got that. They didn't know chickens would even eat onions. Well, I quickly found out. I didn't know they eat okra either. And I found out one day when they ran into my garden. So last year I had something put up so that they wouldn't, you know, get in the garden. I'll probably do that again. Of course, I do this to myself. I say I'm not going to let them back out, and I'll let them out. But I do have a electric fence uh, for, for um, 
you know, livestock, animals. So I haven't got it up yet. So I'll probably be working with that, let them out, but not because it's been raining so much here that, you know, it's been raining so much that there's a point in time that you, you have to let them out and let, you know, because the ground gets so wet, I, I have to let them out and let them run around so that where they're standing at, it can kind of start drying up a little bit. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Yeah, I can't wait for these to come up. But this is the thing. Even though you don't have a tractor, you, I mean, if you don't have a tiller, you can, you know, you can still make a garden. I know it sounds crazy, but you can take a hoe, and it's a lot of work, but you can do it. I've done it before, so I know you can do it. But then if you have a little tiller, if you can't afford a tractor, you know, don't stop right there. Get you a tiller for about 300 bucks and start tilling the ground. It's, a, it's some work. It depends on your soil. Um, the, the first time around is a little hard because you've got the grass and the roots there. But, honey, I'm telling you, I've done it many times, and it will work. So, actually, this garden right here, it started out was just like that. Going through that little tiller and plowing up now over here there you see some grass into it it has actually um some winter grass into it but some of this is just new ground and so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm going to tilling it up and uh then i'm gonna expand this a little bit hopefully to get my potatoes and just doing something new this year all right guys thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up Thank you for all my subscribers and hit that bell, hit that bell so you'll know when I'm loading up a vi video. All right, y'all. God bless you. It's that time again. It's that season. Get the planting. Now I'm so excited. I, I was excited before I got out of here, but I'm really excited now that I can see three rows. So it is possible. You don't have to have a tractor. You can do this.